My understanding is that a lab in California came up with a, a um, vaccination for the coronavirus already. So um, that's cool. Hopefully it'll actually work. They have to do human trials, I guess, and then they have to manufacture it. And thank God they did that because I've read other articles where people are predicting that it could kill as many as 50 million people. And um, that means it could knock on my doorstep real quick. Um, so, yeah, so it's a good thing that the vaccination was created. That's cool. Um, so I'm sure that a lot of people, when something like this happens, they think themselves... Um, how is John Alexander going to be a good president if an, another coronavirus breaks out and he doesn't care if people die, so he just doesn't do anything? Well, what I would do is I would just basically leave the World Health Organization in charge, and then the same thing would happen that happened this time. Like People would be like, oh, I'll create a vaccine, and then everyone kind of has a competition to see who can create the vaccine the fastest, and yeah, I would... I mean, I wouldn't be in charge anyways of, of the response because I don't know anything about it. I would basically leave the World Health Organization in charge. So, yeah, that's why you can trust me to be president during an outbreak, um, even though I, I do think it would be beneficial if a decent chunk of the population died by war and or by a virus or whatever. Um, but, and that's why it's so weird that I, I'm living at a time right now where I have come out and said that I believe that it's a good thing if we reduce the population of the earth because the icebergs are melting and um, the best way to reduce the population, to, to reduce carbon emissions is to reduce people. But then I'm running for president. It's like, well, how are you ever, how are you going to protect the people? It's because that's my job completely. Um, my job would be protecting my people. Um, but... Granted, it doesn't mean that I wouldn't be up for killing people in other countries, and um, I, I don't know if I could convince Congress to do that. Um, specifically, I'd want to kill people over oil. All right, so, yeah, the best thing about this is that there's a slide, and it has two lanes. It has an exit lane and a regular lane. Well, it might actually have three lanes, and so you can slide around the pyramid until you get to the bottom. And then we can have straight elevators because we're gonna have skyscrapers inside. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this off. I'm happy that China's doing better or that they think they have a vaccine now because it's, it's, it's really stressing me out. Because I mean, once you start to realize how many people can die, it's like someone's gonna get pissed. And they're already blaming us because like, apparently Dean Koontz has a book where there's a virus called Wuhan 99 and it's a bioweapon that kills a bunch of people in Wuhan and um, it is weird. It's really weird. Um, yeah. It's weird. <laughs>